The guarantee of Ethernet interoperability is one of the foundations of the success story of Ethernet and why it's one of the networks of um, choice for the future of networking and AI. Hi, my name is Sam Johnson. I'm a Link Applications Engineering Manager at Intel Corporation, as well as the, one of the chairs of the High Speed Networking Subcommittee within the Ethernet Alliance. One of the, the main goals of the Ethernet Alliance is to promote interoperability and collaboration and um, help promote Ethernet, uh, both its uh, uh, broader adoptions and the advancement of the Ethernet technology. Um, through the High Speed Networking Subcommittee, we run interoperability plug fests where uh, different vendors can come. It's a sort of a safe space to collaborate and work with people that you would normally maybe be a competitor with, but to help further the Ethernet ecosystem and, and help accomplish that guarantee of Ethernet interoperability. Right? The compliance with the standards is what guarantees that interoperability, but it's, it is impossible to be necessarily perfectly compliant. So we have things like interop plug fests, interoperability demonstrations at events like ECOC and OFC, uh, and many other opportunities within the Ethernet Alliance to come and collaborate and help further promote Ethernet. So within the world of Ethernet interoperability, uh, in my own career, I've, I've chosen to really try and emphasize this idea of open interoperability. Right? When we talk about a healthy Ethernet ecosystem, part of the idea of that is that you can bring a new product into the market that is compliant with the Ethernet standards, and it's going to go and, and work with the products that are already there. So as part of that, my team at Intel, we have a, an entire interoperability lab. We have many different components, switches, NICs, cables, optics, and everything to, to cover as, as broad of an interop approach as we can, and we automate the testing of those, those different combinations of connections to, um, to just try and find issues uh, before they're seen in the market and, and help um, just improve the overall reliability uh, of the Ethernet interoperability and our ability to achieve a healthy, reliable link with any link partner that's playing in that space. And I really see that type of work as um, as critical to, again, kind of solidifying the Ethernet promise of interoperability, right? It, it, it must be tested and various applications, maybe the interop use cases for a given application, such as what we see in AI, we actually see a narrowing of the, the um, interconnects on a given node. And so there is maybe a perception that open interoperability and the idea of Ethernet compliance and things is less critical than it has been in the past, where, you know, if I'm a customer building a, an, an AI cluster and I have, you know, a couple different types of interconnects and, you know, depending on my scale up and scale out connectivity, there, I have a very narrow subset of, of devices that I need to work with. And so I need to make sure I test those super thoroughly and that those are going to work very reliably. But I don't necessarily care if they work with some NIC or switch that's not in my, in my ecosystem. So I think the, the value of interoperability, there may be a perception that that's lessening. But the reality is, is that in today's market, we are seeing an explosion of media types and moving to higher speeds, different form factors, and new use cases that, in fact, the interoperability, what I'll call opportunities, are, are growing exponentially. The, and so just because one customer has uh, a, a few devices connected together does not mean that the next customer will use the same thing. So I, I do believe that this idea of open interoperability and the success uh, that Ethernet has had of around plug and play uh, needs to continue to be a core tenant of, of Ethernet as we move into the AI market.